Okay, my name is Stephen Trim. I'm a senior scientist working in molecular biology at Pfizer. So my job involves um, looking at DNA and how it is regulated differently in, in a disease process. So that we can actually find ways to intervene with drugs and medicines to potentially correct and cure that disease. So uh, from a day-to-day -day point of view, um, actually looking at uh, samples to find out how the genes are switched on or switched off um, in, in various systems from the, the whole human genome. What I've always wanted to do is work in genetics. Um, so from my pre-GSSE pre years, I uh, saw a program um, on, on genetics and how DNA has the blueprint for life, and that really inspired me. I vividly remember him having many filing cabinets and uh, pulling a filing cabinet open and taking out one page, and on that page was written the letters encoding DNA, and he was saying that you'd need the information of this entire bank of filing cabinets to encode the DNA that is in every human cell. Um, and to me, I just found that amazing. I want to know more about how this works and how these letters make people. It was that moment that I, I decided that this is what I want to do. Um, and I, I've basically stuck to that plan. Um, and so from there on, I went on to do A-levels in biology, chemistry and physics, because I knew I needed a good, wide scientific background. Uh, and then done a, a degree in pure genetics. My parents pretty much let me get on with making my um, decisions, mainly because the things I was wanting to do and talking about genetics and DNA were a complete alien thing to them. Um, although my dad had a good grounding in, in mathematics from being an engineer, I very quickly become difficult for him to help me with my maths homework, for instance. So they were very supportive and always there for me, took me around to the universities to do interviews and things, but they very much let me make the decisions because they were unsure of what exactly I was trying to do and where I was trying to go. Outside of work, I do quite a lot of stuff, actually, uh, <laughs> if I'm so very busy. Um, I'm a drummer in a rock band um, playing sort of Guns N' Roses, Led Zeppelin, a bit of Metallica, um, just in, in pub gigs for, for entertainment. Uh, it's good fun. I also keep and breed reptiles, and I've sort of brought in my genetics inf uh, interest into that uh, and been selectively breeding corn snakes to produce different colours. That's sort of a, a crossover interest that you can actually see genetics in the real world. And it's the type of experiments that really don't do at work. And it's just really useful to actually see these things in action at home. But I'm also a keen cook. I do a lot of fishing for, for, for the table as well. And I've just started climbing recently, so I do lots of stuff outside of work. <laughs> in five years' time, I'd really like to be here or similar doing the same sort of thing I think really. The only other job I've done was um, during my year out uh, from university I actually worked on the Human Genome Project at the Sanger Centre where they're actually reading and mapping the individual letters of the DNA and uh, obviously we've come to a stage now where we actually know all the letters of the human genome and we're, we're in a stage where we're finding out just what those genes are actually doing uh, and that's exactly what I'm doing now. I'm finding out what genes are doing in their disease states. So we're actually adding information onto the human genome with a specific emphasis on, on curing pain. So um, in five years time, I'd really like to be here doing this.